Okay, we are down to the finish line here on finishing up the uh, Y-Wing model. And I'm going to start out by uh, using the decals here that are included with the kit. And the first decal I will be doing is the little TIE Fighter that goes on the front of the nose here. And here's the decal. So first thing obviously is to cut that guy out. And you can see how teeny this is. They're very small decals. And I'm going to use some Microset, which is a decal adhesion liquid. And start out by putting a little bit of the Microset on a brush. I'm actually going to brush it on the front of the nose cone to start, which gets that wet. And then the decal has been soaked in water, and I'm just going to slide the decal off into the microset solution, which will help it adhere to the model. Got a little too much water on here, trying to slide it around. I need to try to get some of the water off. There we go. And just slide it around until I get it into the position that I want it in. And then the same goes for the uh, other decals, little red triangle shape going over here, another little red decal here, little striped yellow decal back here, some more here on the back of the port wing, and another one here, a couple little ones back here. And there we go, we've got all the decals glued down. So next up here I'm using again my um, photos of the actual filming miniature used in the movie. And I'm going to try to paint it as close as I can to the way the filming miniature looked. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, go around the model and do the little markings again with a sharpie like I did with my Millennium Falcon and uh, just do the little marks and also some little blast hits. I'm just going to go ahead and do them with the sharpie, the little blast marks. Again trying to make these as close to possible as what's out on the actual filming miniature. So now I've got all these little markings all over the model. I'm going to do a little bit of rust in some of the areas where there's rust on the filming miniature. And there we have my rust wash dried. Then next up I'm going to go over the model with um, some black wash just to add some depth and detail to uh, a lot of the machinery of the ship. Make some of the little teeny pieces pop out a bit. And there it is with the black wash. And the bottom side with the black wash.
Then I'm going to do a little bit of some aluminum on a couple of the, uh, I don't know if they're nuts or caps or what it is, but around the ship, just a little bit of aluminum. And then I've done a mixture here of, to me, a medium gray with some clear green to give some of these parts a little green tint that's on the actual filming miniature. And I'm going to go through with um, some more darker gray and just fill in some of the areas that are darker. Then I have some rust pastel that I'm going to use and some mud just to add some more color to the model and I've already applied it here and there's just towards the back you can see a little bit of tint from the rust and the mud pastels that I've smeared onto the model. Now I need to remove the pylons from the engines so that I can uh, do a little detailing on the ends of the engine using again, I'm going to use rust for my pastels and rub them on the tips of the engines here to darken them up from the flame that comes out. So I'm going to start out with some rust and just go around the outer edge and smear some rust on the engines. And you can see that's been done here. And then I'm going to go through with oil stain, and which is a fairly dark pastel, and darken it up and make it look more charred and burned. And there you can see the engines are a little bit, uh, they look like they've been used. Now the pylons are reattached and it's time for me to do some airbrushing with my new airbrush that I just got. So I'm going to go around and I'm going to be doing airbrushing with just some black. I'm going to start out by doing some of the blast hits on the uh, engines here. Now I have my, my pressure was set a little low when I did this. Um, so it kind of like spotted a little bit, but I actually kind of liked the way it looked. It added a little more detail to the model and a little more grunginess look to it. So I actually left it that way. And here I've applied a little bit of the clear green and gray over these little markings on the back of the engine. And here in the kit I have marked the piping which needs to be orange in color and then I went through and marked the part numbers on my sprue here and I'm going to go through with this Tamiya clear orange and a dab of rust and I'm going to go through and paint all the necessary pipes orange that are supposed to be orange So I've got all of the pipes painted to match what is painted on the filming miniature. And then it's time to start attaching the pipes to the model itself. I'll be starting out this first one here up by the nose cone. And here we have all the pipes attached to the upper half of the Y-Wing. And then we're on to the bottom half. And these, some of these pipes are so small. This has been almost the most difficult part of the Y-Wing. And here we have all the pipes attached to the bottom half of the Y-Wing. And 
and here I have it basically fully painted. I added a little more um, wash to some of the pipes to darken them up. And at this point I am ready to take my wires and run them through my copper tubing to attach them to the base. Just going to run my wires through here and the tubing down into the lower half of the body of the Y-wing. And I put some glue there so that it's attached to the model itself. And at this point, I'm going to run these wires in through my base, which I completed in the last video. Let's run these guys through here. And the copper tubing fits nice and snug right into the base. And there we go, the Y-wing is now attached to the base. So now it's time to take these wires and solder them to the appropriate boards. Starting with my uh, positive lead and my ground leads, which I'm going to attach to my trinket here. And this will provide power for all the LEDs in the model. Then it's on to my trigger wires, which will control the engines, triggering of the laser, and triggering of the torpedoes. And here we have the entire base wired up and ready to go. And without further ado, I present you my completed Y-Wing Starfighter. Target. We're too close. Stay on target. <laughs> 